Hey everyone, I'm going to show you this Econ Graph Toolkit. It's another way for you to make a supply and demand graph and then upload it to Blackboard. Here's the URL. There's a link on Blackboard to take you there directly. This tool isn't perfect, but it does have the advantage of not forcing you to have numbers uh, on the scale for your x-axis and y-axis. and uh, it allows you to label those axes kind of a little bit um, more easily uh, than you could uh, in the uh, my econ graph my econ lab graph tool um, so let's uh, change the title here um, let's change it from homes to houses um, just so you can see how that works okay so updated those uh, labels uh, pretty quickly there for us. This is the supply curve and let's make the supply curve shift. So instead of just putting S implying that there isn't a shift, let's put S1 implying that there's going to be another supply curve. I shifted it. And same thing with the demand curve. Um, so I'm going to put in uh, my D1 here. Okay, so let's draw in the second supply curve. Let's say the cost of uh, wood used to make new houses decreases. So that will be an increase in the supply. All right, so I'm going to draw in, oops, I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, so now I'm going to draw in uh, or type in S2. Okay, so the supply curve um, shifted to the right. And let's say the um, what could we say? Let's say the number of buyers uh, decreased. Okay, so that would decrease the demand. Um, actually, before I before I put that in, uh, just to not confuse uh, people, um, so let's just move this demand curve kind of out of the way for now. Um, let's draw in. Um, Let's draw in uh, where the equilibrium was before the shift and uh, where it was after the shift. Okay, so this tool here allows me to do that and I can kind of um, put in labels here. So this is the, this is before the shift, so PE1. Okay, so you're kind of seeing the limitations of this uh, of this graphing tool here, right? So it's uh, a little messy there. And this is going to be the equilibrium quantity before the shift. And now let's do um, after supply increases, shifts to the right. Okay, so what happens? The equilibrium price decreases and the equilibrium quantity increases. Okay, so to move these things around you have to click on that little hand tool and uh, some things look, look like they'll be uh, easy to move and other things maybe not so much. Okay, so what do you know? The price decreased and the quantity increased. Now let's do a small shift in demand. Maybe the number of buyers decreased just by a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to drag this to create our demand curve. So that's a tiny decrease in demand Print in my label here, D2. Now, as a result of both the increase in supply and decrease in demand, the shift right in supply, the shift left in demand, I'm going to be at a lower equilibrium price and a slightly lower equilibrium quantity than before 
QE2, but larger than QE1. All right, so let's put in that label here, PE3, and uh, put in nobody right here, Q, QE3. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the hand tool, and that's going to allow me to position PE3 there, and I'm going to move, make room for QE2. Or sorry, make room for QE3. Okay, so that's uh, the tool um, to create the graph. Now you actually want to save it. Okay, so to save it, uh, don't email it to me. You can email it to yourself, and it'll email it as a, a file. Or you can click on print here. Okay. Um, so you can print it on your computer if you want to, but you're uploading it to, to Blackboard, right? Um, so you're going to right-click on the image and click on Save Image As, and then it's going to save it as a GIF, which is uh, A-OK, -okay, and just save it to the desktop, and it will be there for you to upload to Blackboard. Um, and just be careful, you know, I clicked on the back button and look what happened, uh, it erased my entire graph. So be careful with this tool uh, and uh, hope it works well for you. Thanks, bye-bye.